Hey everybody, Arik from Vicom Media here today, and I have a tutorial series. This time it's about how to create a user area for your website, complete with login screens, logout screens, register screens, and all that. Uh, for this tutorial, what you'll need is the MySQL database and a host that has PHP 5 enabled. So now I'll just run over what we're going to be making in the long run. So we're going to be making this nice login page. Nothing fancy, but you can add to it. Then a register page that will send an email to the email of the person asking them to activate the account with a link specially created for that one account. Then they can log in and then go to a user area page. I just put in this page to show that you can put HTML in, although there's a small problem with the pictures, but it was just for an example. I'm going to say this now, that I'm going to be providing all the script for this tutorial, so you don't have to write it out and possibly make a mistake, but you're going to have to customize it a bit. But either way, I'm going to go through all the script and explain how it works. So, I'll start with the index page. Actually, no, the global page. The global.php file will be included in every page except the logout.php because it's so simple. This is just sort of standard. I'm not going to talk about this, but here's something important. This little script will uh, connect to your MySQL database. In the files that I've provided, I've written here host user and password and then database. So here you put your host name, in my case it's this, then your username for your MySQL database, and then your password. I just created a new database just as an example for this tutorial. And then your database. Make sure to put the information in between single quotes. If you don't know this information, you can find it out. Uh, by contacting your host uh, web hosting provider. You may not have MySQL uh, hosting, but no fret because I'm going to give you a link to a uh, hosting company that uh, gives you MySQL hosting for free and it usually only takes like a minute to, for them to set up. So check in the description if you need that. Then this will check if the user is logged in. So if the if the script calls for logged in, it'll check if the session that we have created on login is present. If it is, then it's gonna return this variable logged in. So now I'll go to index.php and you'll see that inclu it includes global.php. Then it calls on the logged in function and if it's true it will lo uh, it will forward the user to user area.php. Then it'll exit this script as certain uh, browsers sort of ignore this so this is just as a backup for
for extra security. Um, then, if they aren't logged in, it displays this form here. Here you can put whatever, but you have to put the form. Uh, you can also put other HTML. As it's not within the PHP brackets, it can be HTML. And when they submit the login form, it'll call for the data username and password. And then it'll check if there's any info. Um, I'll just explain this. Exclamation mark means no. And then these two here. Um, represent or. So if no username or no password it will echo. So display enter a username and password. Otherwise if they've put in all the info required it'll go to the login script. So what this does is a login variable um, is a MySQL query uh, that selects all from login to which is the table in the database uh, that we're going to be using where username because that's one of the fields of the database which I'll show you the, in a second uh, equals the variable username so what the user inputted if there is none then it'll echo no such user otherwise it'll go into this next script but before I ran run out of time for this section of the tutorial I'll quickly go to the web browser and show you how we're going to set up to log into it. So we're going to be looking at structure. So there's six fields and the first one's ID. The type is int 11 and it's auto increment. Depending on your version of PHP my admin, uh, you may have to put in unique because you'd Otherwise, you'll get an error because of the auto increment. Now, uh, next one's username var car 30, Latin, Swedish. Uh, correlation, same here, except this is 32 because it's a password. And here it's 50. Uh, then the next one's code, integer 11, not auto increment. And then the next one after that is active, and it's a teeny int with the type as 4. So that's basically all the time I have for this part of the tutorial. I'm going to uh, continue off in the next one. So see you guys then.